Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be replacing the screen protector on my Google Pixel 6. In my last video I installed a tempered glass screen protector but I've been very disappointed in the screen protector. As you can see it doesn't cover the entirety of the screen and there's no cutout for the selfie camera and most importantly and um, it's been not working very well with the underscreen fingerprint scanner. So uh, I'll just show you how that's working um, in its current guise. And then we're going to go ahead and try and install a TPU screen protector. So as you can probably see um, when we power the screen on, there's the fingerprint scanner and it says it couldn't process my fingerprint try it with this one got that one to work but uh, as you can see it's a little bit temperamental so we're going to go ahead and remove this screen protector and install the new one so just like the last video I'm doing this in the bathroom um, the Tap, hot tap's been running and it's got the bathroom quite humid which will help stop small dust particles floating around and keep the lens clean. The screen protector I'm fitting is this Screen Angel um, TPU screen protector. I've heard that these have good results working with the fingerprint scanner. As you may or may not be able to read there. They're very insistent that you go and watch their videos for installing the screen protector, which I have done. So uh, first thing we're going to do is just remove this tempered glass. Opening the packet in here. We have got a squeegeeing card, cleaning wipes, some uh, sticky bits for cleaning the screen. The microfiber cloth, and last of all, the screen protectors. There's three in there, so if I get this wrong, uh, we've got some more goes to do that. So, going, going to go ahead and uh, clean the screen first of all. I've just cleaned my hands so hopefully there won't be too much on my hands that's going to mark the screen. Then the guide says to clean the screen off with the microfiber cloth. And last of all, to go over the screen with one of these stickers, just to make sure there's no dust on any parts of the screen. out there for safeguard. So 
So first of all, we remove this center section. And we've already got a bit of dust there. So let's go over this again. up with the camera it's not quite lined up so the center section is there just to grab the screen you can peel that back off and reposition Good. So it then says to squeegee this out. Next step is to remove this top top section. allows this to come up and we can remove the last section which is this one so as you're removing this one just squeegee down okay Last bit is just to remove the protector. So there are a few bubbles. There. Last of all is to just run your fingers down the edges. Make sure the screen protector goes and covers all of the glass. So this is the finished product. There are a few bubbles. there but I've got another two screen protectors so I can 
perfect that. Give it another go. I have used an old screen night protector on the back of this phone as well. It's not for this one, it's for the Pixel 3, so it's got a circle cut out there, but if I'm not using my uh, case on the back, at least I've got some kind of protection so that if you drop it, it's not going to shatter the glass. What I'll do is I'll come back and summarise this after I've been testing the fingerprint scanner for a couple of days. So it's a few days later and uh, I'm quite happy with the finish of the screen. There is a line that appears at the top of the screen and a couple of little bubbles at the top but overall I'm happy with the overall finish. Uh, now we just need to test the fingerprint scanner. So we can just tap that to open it and uh, there we go, works. So I've tried this, um, like I said, for about a week and overall the um, fingerprint scanner is working a lot better than it used to. Um, this still has the odd occasion where it doesn't like my right thumb. I've taken the right thumb out and programmed it in again and it still doesn't really like the right hand thumb but overall it's a lot better than it was. So um, there is an update coming out for the Pixel 6 which is supposed to improve the fingerprint scanner um, so we'll just have to see how that works. So I'd like to say thank you for watching the video and I hope this has been useful. If you could subscribe to the channel it will help me to make more videos just like this.